Uh, first of all, I want to uh, thank my brother, friend, uh, His Excellency President uh, Lorenzo, for the very warm hospitality and uh, very uh, good discussions uh, we had uh, uh, since I arrived here and uh, my whole delegation uh, has had uh, good discussions with their friends and the counterparts uh, here in Angola. And uh, just to reiterate what uh, the President has said, uh, there are many things that uh, bind our two countries, uh, whether it is uh, history or culture, as, uh, Africans and uh, even ideologically the connection we have I is that for uh, developing and uh, our people and uh, uh, doing everything for the transformation of our two nations and what we uh, strongly believe in uh, both uh, President Lorenzo and I is uh, to achieve this through cooperation, through investments uh, together and in each other. Uh, already that is beginning to happen and uh, we are grateful that uh, the president and uh, the team of his leadership uh, have already facilitated many things uh, to uh, be in place and we on our side are doing our best to make sure that we do uh, all uh, that it takes for our goals uh, to be reached and for uh, the process of development uh, depending on this uh, excellent relationship uh, also uh, is achieved. So once again, President, uh, it's my pleasure to be here and uh, thank you for receiving us and uh, uh, the warm hospitality we have enjoyed since we arrived. So thank you very much. Well, let me uh, start by uh, telling you what you already know very well, that uh, every country in this world, not just uh, the two countries we represent, Angola and Rwanda, the whole world, the rich, the poor, the weak, the powerful, all of them, each one of them has their own problems to deal with. There's none that doesn't have problems. And it is always going to be good if each country does the best it can to manage its problems. It's even going to be better if each country manages its problems but works with other countries in the form of cooperation to address the problems that may be common to uh, both or all of them. So that's where we come from in, in, uh, in Rwanda, at least as far as I'm concerned and the question put to me. I know better than anyone the problems Rwanda has. Uh, there's no question and uh, other countries know better what problems they have. I cannot go to address uh, problems of other countries or another country I can only do it in a form of cooperation, but starting with trying to address my own problems. Th that is how we have been operating in Rwanda. And uh, the characterization of that, whether power is here or there, uh, that's a different uh, question. Um, and uh, it is the business of Rwandans. Rwandans uh, decide what they want to do 
And if they decided to put one level or another of power uh, in their president or their leader, that is their business. So I respect the business of uh, the people of my country and what trust they have given me. But if somebody else feels it is their business to, to question what we do in Rwanda, that's okay, that's fine. We have no problem with that. We, we, we live with that. We have no problem at all. So, uh, but between Angola and Rwanda, uh, as friends, as friends who have decided to cooperate even more in addressing the challenges of uh, two countries. And not only, by the way, we will also work together, cooperate, uh, to even contribute to a solution uh, generally that affect uh, uh, the problems that affect uh, the continent of Africa. Uh, so, and there are frameworks in which we make such a contributions and we respect that and that's what we do. But we start with the cooperation uh, and then we move uh, forward like that. In the level of relationship and cooperation we have uh, developed uh, between Angola and uh, Rwanda, uh, we are looking at all kinds of areas where we can benefit each other and learn from each other. Uh, different kinds of best practices. There is no limit. It's not limited to education. It's not limited to health. It's not limited to technology. It's across uh, sectors. Uh, the two sides, our ministers, our other bureaucrats and uh, people who support us in uh, many things we do, they identify which areas uh, that would benefit uh, which country because there are things we have to learn from uh, here in Angola. There are things uh, we may share with our Angolan friends uh, where we have made the good progress and people will see if that makes sense to them as well. It's, it's open. Uh, there are no limitations as to how much or what we can do uh, together and benefit each other.